Okay, boys, I've already spoken to you both. You know what I expect. Stay professional, obey my commands, and most of all, protect yourself at all times, boys, okay? Good luck to you both. So this is the first title fight for Dublin's Pierce O'Leary, known as Big Bang. He's got quite a few supporters inside the O2 tonight as well. 12 years younger than the man from Namibia, Emmanuel Mungan Jailer. And he's got his sights set, O'Leary, on becoming WBC world champion. A win tonight, Richie, should get him ranked in the top ten. Well, that's what he'll be looking at um, tonight, looking impressive. He's in against um, a safe ball here in Mungan Jailer. So, yeah, it'll be interesting tonight, O'Leary, because he is very explosive and exciting. And you want to, you want to uh, produce that type of performance on, on a big stage like this here tonight, Fletch. Ten rounds. This the vacant WBC International Super Lightweight Title, and Dublin's unbeaten Pierce O'Leary against Emmanuel Mungangela, who owns a taxi company in Namibia. But tonight he's hoping he can get a win to change the course of his career as well. O'Leary with the burgundy band around the trunks. It was noticeable uh, before the instructions from the referee that he just pointed out how high the protector is of Mungangela, and he was just making the point that that's going to be OK if O'Leary hits him there. Yeah, I think the, um, the protector, the kidney protector underneath, it's just coming above the shorts, so it just makes that, that waistline just a little bit higher, doesn't it, for the referee? He's aware of that. And uh, O'Leary's now changed, he keeps orthodox to Southport. And Mungangela, because he's sitting back, he's harder to catch again with that. For a wild right shot, and yeah. there you go. Wild shot from Mungangela, yeah. and he caught one coming in, first count. Pierce O'Leary, big bang, he's stopped his last four, three of those have been inside the opening two rounds, and he's looking for a quick finish now. O'Leary wants to be spectacular, he's a man with a bright future. And he's made the perfect start in the first round here. I don't think he's fully recovered, you know, Fletch Mungangela. He's looking to land that left hand himself over the top. But he looks a little bit vulnerable because as he comes forward, his feet come square. He comes square on, does Mungangela. That's when he's open. And O'Leary again, he's fast in with that right hand over the top. So, yes, this is only the first round and O'Leary is going for a knockout already. Keen to throw shots himself, though, Mungangela. Wants to attack, wants to try and land the big one himself, but he's walking onto these shots when he comes in from Pierce O'Leary. With Mungangela throwing that left hand the way he does, and he brings his left leg round, it comes squared. It makes me wonder whether he's been an orthodox boxer at some point. And he's converted to being a southpaw. But sometimes when he throws that left hand, if he misses, left leg comes around, and that's when he becomes open and square on. He's an all-rounder, O'Leary, not just a banger. It makes him a difficult challenge for any opponent. He's happy to box if he has to, but he loves to let his hands go when he gets the opportunity. Mungangela has already taken a standing eight count from the referee, Mark Lyson, in this first round. And there's the bell to end it. I think at the start of the round, Fletch, O'Leary catching him with a good shot, probably a victim of his own success there, and then he's looking for the heavier shot as the round went on, and it didn't come. Let's have a look at here. Yeah, so there was a punch there. He was probably just on the blind side of us, but that was a good shot, and Mungangela, he just didn't recover for me. It took him a while to recover. Comes in trying to throw a launch, a wild sort of lead right uppercut, and then gets caught with that right hand. That was a good shot from O'Leary. Alan Smith's got a busy night. He's in the corner with T.S. O'Leary. He'll be in there with Dennis McCann. And he'll be in there with Sam Noakes as well, so it's a busy night for Alan Smith, the trainer of Pierce O'Leary. It's a good point, though, Richie, when he does throw the shot, Mungangela, he tends to throw it off balance, there's a wild element to it, and he's a sitting duck, really, an easy target for a, a fighter as accurate as O'Leary. Well, especially when his feet come square, and you're up against a skilled merchant like O'Leary, you can't afford to make them mistakes. So aren't they come for the second round? It's scheduled for 10 this one, the vacant WBC International Super Lightweight title. Pierce O'Leary, six stoppages in 10 victories so far, bidding to win his first belt tonight. And he got that right hand through there. Looks at this stage, Richie, that all he's got to do is be patient, O'Leary, because the opportunities will come. He is quite open when he throws those shots. 
Mungangela, and he doesn't want to spend too long with his back to the ropes either. Yeah, in these situations, it's important that you get your jab working for O'Leary, so that's what he's got to do, just to trigger off the attacks from Mungangela. Mungangela is a little bit predictable when he comes forward. He's slow on his feet, very flat-footed, so that the, the attacks are predictable, so you've got to trigger those attacks off and then bring him onto the shots. Lost three times, Mungangela, 16 wins in 20 fights up to now. He's more experienced than O'Leary, 66 more rounds than the Irishman. His last four have gone the distance. He's never been stopped as well, so that's a challenge in itself for O'Leary tonight. Come on, let him up. Keep your head up. Two good jabs there from O'Leary. Mungangela's staying on the outside and he's swinging wildly. As you'd imagine there's a bit of power in those shots here, yeah, that's not too bad from Mungangela, but his general accuracy isn't as good as O'Leary. But nevertheless, I think he is quite dangerous because if those wild swings do connect, then I think there's a fair bit of power behind his shots. I certainly say that the man from Namibia has come to give it a go. There's hardly a shrinking violet in there so far. O'Leary just missing with a big left hand, but he got the right hand in straight after it. I think Mungangela is a little bit more vulnerable when he's actually coming forward and swinging, especially with that, that backhand. It tends to be a little bit inaccurate, and he misses the target with it. That's when he's off balance, and that's when O'Leary could catch him with a counter. So he's got to watch out for that Mungangela. It's been a race against time to get things ready at the O2 tonight. Rod Stewart was here last night, so as soon as he finished, the boxing ring was erected and we got ready for this tonight. Are you OK, Richie? You're running between the commentary box and the studio. It's almost like you're back in training again. <laughs> like you got Tommy Cooper with uh, <laughs> different hats on, you know. <laughs> Final 20 seconds of the second round and Monk and Jella felt the weight of that one. Yeah, he did. Beautiful land of the shot as well, so... I think he's a, like you said, Fletcher, earlier on, he's a, he's a bit of a tough kid. That's a good shot there really from O'Leary. Really good shot, really good shot. Is there enough time in the round, though, for O'Leary to capitalise on it? And there's the bell to end the second. Football fever has come to town with the first ever winter tournament. Good. So yeah, really good. Is building, nevertheless. Wicked Inc. I love Labradors. Anyone could get carried away this tournament. Whatever regrets you might have, don't let gambling be one of them. Gambling harms can affect anyone. Search Be Gamble Aware to learn how limits and other advice can help you avoid bet regret. Just touch that shot, right hand, left hook, soon as he lands. You've got to watch his back hand up. Let's have a look at that big punch just before the bell, Richie, from Pierce O'Leary. Yeah, well, we spoke about O'Leary being, sorry, Mungangela being a little bit more vulnerable as he's coming forward. Comes forward there, you see, leaves himself open. O'Leary picks him off with that lovely right hand. So Mungangela, he's got to watch what he's doing when he's coming forward. So uh, out they come for the third, scheduled for ten. Super lightweight, this. Pierce O'Leary, the man in charge at the moment, had Mungangela down for a standing eight count in the first round and caught him with a really good shot just before the end of the round, and that had him staggering backwards as well. Yeah, he just seems a little bit unsteady on his feet, doesn't he, Mungangela? Like I said, I think he, he carries a little bit of power with him, but as, he, as he's delivering the shots, he seems to be off balance, and sometimes he can be all over the place. But when he's coming forward, if he misses the target, that's when O'Leary will have a chance to land a big shot. Pierce O'Leary in the grey and burgundy trunks, the blue trunks mainly, for Emmanuel Mungangela from Namibia. O'Leary knows already that he's got the power to hurt him. Yeah, looking for that, that shot again is O'Leary. See Mungangela again, missed the target and he got away with it that time. And you, you can't keep making mistakes like that against someone like O'Leary, who's a big power puncher. Well, that's a glancing blow on the top of the head from O'Leary, the left hand, and you wonder whether Mungangela might be starting to unravel a little bit in there now. Really starting to feel the power of Pierce O'Leary. 
And he's finding it relatively easy to find in there. Yeah, you're just waiting for that one shot, aren't you, from O'Leary? He just seems to be stalking his opponent, walking him down there. It was there. That was a better shot from O'Leary. Look how um, Mungangel has gone backwards. Good left hand got through as well, and then the right. O'Leary looking to try and raise the tempo. Start to land the kind of shots here that could end this fight. Third round of ten. T.S. O'Leary of Dublin in complete control. And there's a lot of bravery in there from Mungangella, who's taken his fair share but continues to come forward himself. Yes, he's, he's deceiving, isn't he? You think he's out on his feet. And yet he still comes firing back. But O'Leary, you can see, he's got the confidence that he can land the knockout shot. Every time he lands a shot now, O'Leary, you see the legs stiffen of Mungangella. They're really starting to take their toll, you feel. Started to walk on to more and more. Just got to be patient, Richie. The shot's there. If he bides his time and picks his shot, you feel he can take Mung Mungangella out. Yeah, it's a classic case of waiting for your opponent to make the mistake. I think Mungangella, like I said, when he's coming forward, he launches the attack from a little bit too far out sometimes, and uh, sometimes he, he misses the target, and then he's way off balance, and that's when you, you pick him off. But nevertheless, Fair play to Mungangela, he's tough. And there, there you go, he's, he's got a bit of power in his shots also. The final few seconds of the third round as Pierce O'Leary continues to dominate things here at the O2. When it comes to getting a new car, there's the old way, then there's the Zen way. Get a new car 100% online, just Zen it. With a friendly expert dedicated to finding the perfect car for you, just send it. You can upgrade when your contract ends, as technology changes, or as your life does. And if you want tax and roadside assistance included in a single monthly payment plus free delivery, just send it. Search Zen Auto today. Well, yeah. But don't go that way. Go round him a little bit. Get your foot on the outside. Then hit him on that right and let's go. Trying too hard. He's a tough old boy, let me tell. You alright? Listening into the TSO Leary corner while we were taking the break, Alan Smith was saying, look, you started to swing with him, just be patient, get back to your boxing. It's good advice, Richard. Perfect advice from Alan Smith there. Yeah, let's get, just get back to your boxing. Back to that lead hand work and just draw the opponent and make and let him make the mistakes because he's making a lot as he's coming forward, Mungangella. Into the fourth round, the first three rounds will have taken their toll on the man from Namibia. It's been T.S. O'Leary in control pretty much from the opening bell. O'Leary just trying to work a little bit more behind that left jab at the start of this fourth round. Mungangella continues to believe, and he sneaks a good left hand through there. Yeah, but O'Leary with his back to the ropes. He did, but he got caught with a left hook as well, and Mungangella still not, not fully recovered. He's a tough guy, Mungangella. He really is. Sometimes he's taking some big shots, and you think, yeah, probably if O'Leary just caught him again, he'd be out of there, but he comes back. He's, he's resilient, durable. 34 years of age, Mungangella. He's the Namibian welterweight champion, so he's come down in weight for this one tonight. His last defeat was eight years ago. He's on a bit of a run himself, although he's been inactive for large periods of the last few years. Showing great grit and resilience here, though, in this fight against Pierce O'Leary. This is where O'Leary's got to listen to his coach, get back to his boxing, set up that knockout shot, work behind your lead, and it's one of those situations where you see the finishing line, you think you, 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 you can beat this fella, you've got the beating of him, but you've got to set it up. It's awkward though, isn't it, Richie? You've just got to make sure that you don't walk onto one yourself, because he's unorthodox in every sense of the word, Mungangella. Yeah, he's unorthodox, and he's fairly dangerous. And I think he's, he's quite deceiving, like I said, he looks out on his feet sometimes, but he comes back, and uh, yeah, he's, he's a tough nut to crack. His head. The final minute of the fourth. Great support inside the O2 tonight for Pierce O'Leary. Irish flags all over the place, some vocal support behind him. 
That's a good shot. Mungan Jela wobbling again. Not the first time we've seen that tonight. So you don't read too much into it. He's got tremendous powers of recovery. Yes, he has indeed. But uh, that was good work from O'Neary again. And the protector. The protector. He's really coming. Um, it's almost under his chin at the moment, Mungan Jela. O'Leary caught him again. More wild swings from the African. Doesn't want to take a backward step, and just when you think O'Leary's got him wobbling, he seems to dig a bit deeper, find a little bit more. But I think he's happy to hear the sound of the bell. When it comes to getting a new car, there's the old way, then there's the Zen way. Get a new car 100% online, just Zen it. With a friendly expert dedicated to finding the perfect car for you, just Zen it. You can upgrade when your contract ends as technology changes, or as your life does. And if you want tax and roadside assistance included in a single monthly payment plus free delivery, just Zen it. Search Zen Auto today. Time too hard. I haven't seen any of the rhythm. Get round him, double jab. When he hits that rope, it's the time to let them shots go. I'm up to them, three or four jabs to get him back where they Some are. good work from O'Leary. And catches Mungangela there with that left hook, and that's the one that, for me, Yes, did a little bit of damage there. Mungangelo goes backwards. Good shot indeed. And the bell sounds then for the fifth round here. And no surprise that Mark Lyson, the referee, wants to work out what he's going to do about this protector because it was high to start with and it's got higher the longer the fight's gone on. Yeah, because the shorts have come down, haven't they? And it, it, it is, I mean, it is fairly high now, isn't it? Coming out of the shorts, that's going to be a problem, that is. That's a good shot by O'Leary, caught him off balance again, when he lunges in like that, he's a sitting duck for him. A decent combination as well, but they just seem to bounce off his chin. Yes, that's better work now from O'Leary. Again, we spoke about when Mungangela, when he comes forward, he can be a little bit open, and O'Leary caught him well there, but then he backed it up with two or three shots, so maybe that's what he's got to do. Once he's caught him, then pour on the pressure, but then just hold the feet occasionally, Fletch just because you've got to create a little bit of space on the inside there. It's a very, very brave display, though, from Emmanuel Mungangela, who's had to take some big shots in there from O'Leary. He's been wobbled a few times, took a count in the opening round, but he just seems to find that little bit more, and almost in the blink of an eye, he's back in the fight again. They were quite honest in the build-up to the fight, the O'Leary camp. They said they didn't know a great deal about Mungangela because they couldn't find any footage of him. They'd just been told he was tough and awkward, and whoever told them that, it was good advice. Based on what we're seeing so far, halfway through the fifth. Well, he's game, is he, Mungangela? But again, he really is taking some risks as he's coming forward. The feet keep crossing, he keeps coming square. He's so determined to try and land his, his own backhand, the more powerful shot that he's got, but he's, keeps, he's going to walk onto a punch from O'Leary. He's, he's been a bit lucky up to now, Mungangela, as he's walking forward with those feet uh, coming square. But O'Leary, at some point, will catch him as he's coming forward. Final minute of the fifth. It's good work from Mungan Jella. First time he's really been able to pin O'Leary on the ropes. Just glancing to my right, we're right by the Mungan Jella corner. And one of his corner men is, is shouting instructions at the same time he's filming the fight on his phone and for posterity. So that's all going on while Mungan Jella's in there showing tremendous heart against O'Leary. Yeah, the referee's not happy though, is he? He's saying that punch is a little bit low there. And yeah, a good little spell for, from Mungangela, especially when he got O'Leary onto the ropes, but it's probably because O'Leary held his feet on the ropes. I think this has been his best round by quite some distance, the man from the middle. Really good shot, there he goes! What a shot from O'Leary, right on the belt. Yeah, super punches, the right hand, and then the left hook that went in as Mungangela was on the attack. We've said how vulnerable he is when he goes forward, Fletch, and he walks onto a couple of big punches there. Well, that's been the story of the fight. Whenever Mungangela wants to let the punches go, he's so susceptible. 
Tierce O'Leary caught him with an absolute peach. Yeah, good work from O'Leary right at the end of the round when Mungan Joe was actually going for himself, getting O'Leary on the ropes. That was a super right hand there. Then the left, left hook followed it through, right on the bell. But again, it was when Mungan is coming forward, walks onto that right uppercut, walks onto the left hook, down he goes. Well, they've had a look. He's shown tremendous powers of recovery so far, but he's going to have to dig deep here. He needs every second of the minute. A little uppercut, Richie, that travelled no more than six inches, but packed so much power from O'Leary. So let's see what he's got left. Sixth round. How much has he been able to recover between rounds, Mung and Jella? Now it's about only not getting complacent. Just keep them hands nice and high. Go for the big shot. He's wobbling again. He's not recovered by any stretch of the imagination. O'Leary can sense the finish. How much has this tough little man from Namibia got left? O'Leary really sensing victory and again Mungangela unsteady on his feet. Is he fully recovered a Fletch? I don't think he is. Still throwing punches, the legs look wobbly, the heart's there. How much can the body do for him at this stage? You feel that O'Leary's one good solid shot away from winning the fight. Yeah, he's just waiting for that shot. Fair play to Mungangela. Still in there, battling away. But O'Leary just senses the victory, just waiting for the opportunity now, walking his man down. It's been a really good performance by O'Leary against this team tough man from Namibia who's taken everything and continues to find the resolve and the desire to throw shots of his own. And he actually got a decent left hand through there himself. That was a super punch, probably the best shot he's thrown for a, a while and another one. So that's good shot there, good work from Mungangela. More work for Mark Lyson to do to get that protector back down to where it needs to be. Halfway through the sixth round, and he's shown remarkable resilience again to get this far. Sensible there, O'Leary keeping the guard nice and high, blocking that shot, blocking the left hand from Mungangela, and then trying to catch him with that left hook, trying to get close enough to land that, that shot. Remember, the winner tonight will get the vacant WBC International Super Lightweight title, and with it, you'd suspect a top 10 WBC ranking, so there's plenty on the line for both of them. O'Leary looking to go through the gears again, Mungangella holding on again. Yes, good work, Fletcher. was a left up that went in there, and O'Leary just pouring on the pressure now. How tough is Mungangella? That, that was a slip, that was a slip, not a knockdown. I agree with you, Richie. I mean, talk about a brave performance. We saw the spectacular finish of Tommy Fletcher in the first fight tonight, and we're seeing wonderful heart now in the second fight from Mungangela. He hasn't come to lose, this fella, Mungangela. Every now and again, he just lands one of his own that just makes O'Leary think about it. Yeah. And just keeps him in the fight, keeps the referee Happy indeed that Mungangela's fighting back, but again O'Leary looking for the better shots. This is where you've got to try and sh produce a little bit of magic on the inside, create a little bit of space to land the, the, the better shots. That's good work there from O'Leary. Well, that's tremendous heart from Emmanuel Mungangela to get through the sixth round. I didn't think, I've got to admit, that he'd be able to do it. Pierce O'Leary having to work for everything that he might get tonight. It's a tremendous learning fight for him because I doubt he's been in with anybody as tough as this so far. First part of the fight, you're just gunslinging with him. Yeah? Go back on that, go back on your toes, get back there, that road where you want him. And then aim for his chest. You don't like it downstairs. I told you he's a very, very tough boy. But you've got to work on your defence. There's more tired to get. Go back to speed, a little bit of rhythm in your shot. You're chucking that right hand and that right foot goes square. Yeah? Over yeah, his chest. Alan Smith wants him right? to go back to that box in a little coming. bit. Says that he's swinging with him. Oh, so O'Leary just senses he can he can win the fight with a one good shot, but he's got to set it up. And Alan so Smith know. wants him to get back to that boxing. Round seven. Well, they come for the seventh then. We've got a trio of Commonwealth title fights to come after this one tonight. Involving uh, Dennis McCann, Sam Noakes, Hamza Shiraz, and then top of the bill tonight. Zach Parker against John Ryder, which is a 50-50 fight, whichever way you look at it. Great night of boxing here at the O2, and this has been a fabulous fight so far between Dublin's Pierce O'Leary 
And this hard man from Namibia, Emmanuel Mungangela. Difficult to create that space on the inside there from O'Leary. Occasionally, you just got to take a step backwards. O'Leary then just switched to side four, so he's, he's just trying everything and experimenting here. I think he's fairly enjoying this contest, though, um, O'Leary. Again, Mungangela launches from too far out, misses, comes square, gets away with it again. It's only the third time tonight that he's gone past the fifth round, O'Leary. He's never been past the fifth round in a fight of this nature before, so it's a night where he can find out a little bit about himself, answer one or two questions as well, and really learn on the job while he's in there. He's way ahead on points, it's whether he can actually get the stoppage that I know he really wants tonight. No explanation needed. No. See, that's better there from O'Leary, really. just popping out that jab. He's trying to lure and draw the lead of his opponent. And hopefully he can, he can go back with that fast counter. There he was there, just missing the target. That wasn't too far away, that was a good shot, actually. Yeah, just stiffen the legs again of Mungancella. It's one of those fights where Alan Smith wants him to be patient, T.S. O'Leary, but it's the kind of fight that he just naturally gets drawn into. A good body shot by Mungancella. Good shot, right hands. Managed to get it through. You can see why this fella's never been stopped. He's tough, isn't he? He really is. And uh, sometimes you think he's ready to go, but then he's got good powers of recovery. Oh, really good effort. shot. Really good shot. Tears O'Leary waiting for the precise moment that detonated that left hook. Then he gets him with another one. And again, he just wants to take that backward step, Mungangela. This is where he's got to put some yeah, combinations together right at the end of the round. Shudges back to his corner, Mungangela sucks in the air, needs every second of the minute. There's uh, Hamza Shiraz, who's the chief support tonight. WBC silver middleweight title, a vacant Commonwealth middleweight title on the line as well, up against Coventry's River Wilson Bent. And I must say, at the weigh-in yesterday, both of them oozed confidence, and both of them were in fantastic condition. Yeah, it's an exciting contest, that one. Looking forward to it. Hamza Shiraz, a yeah, very talent, uh, talented boxer indeed, but he's got a tough contest tonight. River Wilson Bell from the Midlands is, is a good kid. So three to go, eighth of ten, WBC International Super Lightweight title on the line. Pierce O'Leary a mile ahead, he's had Mungangela down, he's stunned him with numerous punches, he's been down twice. Hasn't been able as yet to find that. Punch to finish the fight. There's been no quit whatsoever in Emmanuel Mungangela. I think if he catches Mungangela with, with a good shot, where, where we think Mungangela, you know, is unsteady on his legs again, that's when he's got to put the pressure on and put the combinations together and, and give the referee a, a decision to make. But that's when you've just got to steady yourself in that situation. Don't get too close to the opponent. Let Mungangela hold you. That's where you've just got to create a bit of space as he's going forward, O'Leary. He's given so much tonight, Mungangela, and taken so much in the process that he's got to be feeling the pace in there now. It's one of those wild swings that tends to be the way the Mungangela attacks start. 
Maybe a just, a just look with the feet from O'Leary. Maybe that right up look through the middle as his opponent's Come leaning on, over. He swings widely. You can predict those um, swings as he's coming forward. Hands up, Hands up, Tim. Moncacella taking the body shots in. The ones to the head were blocked by O'Leary. Yeah, just sitting on the ropes doesn't need to be there. You know, Alan Smith won't be pleased with that. You're giving the, the opponents, you know, a, a free shot, if anything, by standing there. Minutes to go in the eight. Again, see to weather the storm, Mongangelo. As Nick Fletch, you know, he comes through. Takes his, taking some big shots, but now he seems to have got through that. Maybe O'Leary's just feeling the pace a little bit himself. Well, that's the end of the eighth. Let's have a listen into the Pierce O'Leary corner and see what his trainer, Alan Smith's got to say. It. No one else, kid. Come back here telling me that. Paul, you've got two rounds left. Land on the rope, get on your front foot, push him back a little bit, touch up and down. I haven't seen anything down here. Touch him, get him on that rope, touch up and touch down. Listen, he's only got a good chin, but you're letting him hit you with shots, you shouldn't be doing that. Look at me. You good? You okay? You got two left in you? Get on with it. Let me tell you, hands up high, use your jab, right hand behind, yeah? Don't want to see me laying there taking shots like that. He did you that last time. Go. Come on, come, come on. Oh, that was a fair question, Richard. A good answer. You got two rounds left in you. We'll get on with it. <laughs> he wasn't happy, was he, Alan Smith? And right Alan so. Two to go. Pierce O'Leary, a mile in front on the cards. It's whether he can get the stoppage. I think we have to remember as well, though, Fletcher, you know, Pierce O'Leary, he's a talent, isn't he? And it's his first contest over the ten rounds. And he's in against a stubborn opponent. And he's still in there. So maybe he may be thinking of... Really good shot oh, there. What really a good shot, right hand. Mungancella really felt that. O'Leary going for the finish. He's going trapped in his own corner. Mark Lyson, the referee's having a look. Not a great deal coming back from the Namibian. Somehow he manages to dig deep and stay on his feet. This is the moment, though, for O'Leary. Still over two minutes to go in the ninth, and he caught him with an absolute duty to start the attack. Yeah, super punch indeed, and kept the pressure on. I just think the referee was just very close to stopping there, and affected him. He's still not recovered, Mungangela, but we've seen him in this situation before, but is this the time now that O'Leary's got to produce a, bit, uh, a, a good shot just to make the referee jump in? Mungangela getting by on heart and guts and still throwing punches. It's been an astonishingly brave performance by Mungangela. Just when you think he's going to go, he finds a little bit more. Yeah, incredible fella indeed. But again, look, he looks so um, unbalanced on his feet there, Fletch. He's one shot away, you suspect now, from being stopped. Mark Lighton's having a really close look at him because he wobbled back towards the ropes there. The O'Leary corner screaming at him to pick it up now. Well, they know a, sus a sustained um, attack here from O'Leary could do it. And again, Mungangela walking on to shot, but powers of recovery from this fella are incredible. He's almost out on his feet. He's got very little balance about him at the moment. O'Leary just can't find the shot to finish it off. Final 45 seconds of the ninth round, a ninth round where Mungangela's been hanging on pretty much from the opening bell. 
Meaning he's still not 100% on his feet to be caught on his fletch. He's still a little wobbly. There. Left hand got through this time. Yeah. Still wobbly on those feet, Mungangela. He's Can made a iron. Yeah. Can O'Leary just produce the goods again? Right up the cut, got through. Final few seconds of the ninth. It looks like he might well survive this one as well. Really good round for Pierce O'Leary, Richie, but what bravery from Emmanuel Mungangela. Well, it looked like he was just seconds uh, away from being stopped there, Mungangela. O'Leary nearly got the job done there, but this fella just got through it. Missed the target, we've spoken about it so many times, Mungangela coming forward, misses the target. O'Leary punishes him with a superb right hand. That was a belting shot, it really was. That's that um, set the ball uh, rolling, and then he catches him with a left up there. And then at one point it looked like the referee was going to jump in, but Mongangela, he survived, he got through it. If he does go to the judges' cards, we've got a round to go. Victor Laughlin from Scotland, Massimo Baravecchio from Italy, and Alexander Walter from Germany. He's in the same eye box gym as Dennis McCann and Sam Noakes. He wants to get the stable off to a good start tonight, Pierce O'Leary. Miles ahead on the card, it's whether he can stop Mungangela now in the tenth and final round, and both of them have given a tremendous show tonight. Yeah, it's been a terrific contest, hasn't it? Very exciting. Time and again we thought O'Leary was just one punch away from stopping his opponent, but all credit to Mungangela has got through it, and this is now the final round. I'm amazed really, Richard, that he's got this far. The amount of times you felt he was one punch away from being stopped, and somehow he's just found that little bit extra to stay in there. He's really going for it himself now. So can O'Leary just bring him on to another big, big shot? Watch out! Oh, knows he needs a stoppage. He's trying to get one himself. He's almost gone through the ropes in his own corner there. He's given everything. He's given everything, and he's finding a little bit more. What a great learning fight for O'Leary. This has been and against a real tough man. Can he uh, put the icing on the cake and get the stoppage? Fletch. Yeah, this had the look of a really good card tonight, didn't it? Tommy Fletcher off to the explosive start. Then a, an excellent 10 rounder here between O'Leary and Mungangella. We've still got Dennis McCann, Sam Noakes, Hamza Shiraz. And then the top of the bill tonight, Zach Parker against John Ryder. You're kind of rooted now for Mungangella to hear the final bell, aren't you, when you think of what he's been through in that? Through. That's, it. That's what will be on his mind, just to hear that final bell. Put in an unbelievable display. Guts and courage. Very awkward, very strong man indeed. Into the final minute. Get out. This has been a bit of everything tonight for Pierce O'Leary, hasn't it? Not only is he going to win this WBC International Super Lightweight title. He's also learned so much about himself and so much about what he's going to face moving forward in his career from the rounds he's put in with this fella tonight. His first 10-rounder against a real tough opponent who's um, took everything, come through it, so he's, he's had to regroup, rethink. And, yeah, it's been a great learning fight for Pierce O'Leary. Right! has given everything he's got left in this final round. Played a great part in the contest, hasn't he, Mungangella? Final 10 seconds, the Namibian still continues to throw shots, so Leary continues to look for the big finish. And that's been a fantastic 10 rounds. Really good display from Pierce O'Leary. The what guts, resilience and determination shown tonight by the Namibian Emmanuel Mungangella.
I mentioned he runs a taxi business back home in Namibia. You wouldn't argue about the fare with that fellow, would you? <laughs> You'd pay straight away, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, yeah, a tremendous performance from both boxers. I thought O'Leary was very good indeed. The, the power was there. It was a good learning fight for him. Mungangela, great powers of recovery. Really, really made a scrap of it right to the very, very end. Unorthodox, um, but uh, certainly tough, strong, and really played his part there. But for me, O'Leary, that's a good performance. Overall, his first 10 round reflects. Let's remember that against a tough opponent. And that's the man we're going to see next. Dennis the Menace up against Joe Ham. Vacant Commonwealth Super Bantamweight title. And that's coming up straight after this one. So the judges tonight, Victor Laughlin from Scotland, Massimo Baravecchio from Italy and Alexander Volta from Germany. I don't think there's any doubt whatsoever about the winner, but we need confirmation, which we will get imminently. Well, Francis Warren in there with Pierce O'Leary, who we presume is about to be awarded his first title in the pro ranks, the WBC International Super Lightweight title. An exciting display, I think, overall. An exciting contest for the fans, that, um, Fletch. You, th you thought O'Leary was, was just seconds away from, from a victory in most of the rounds, but... Uh, all credit to Mongangela, he got through to the end. OK, let's get the official decision from MC Thomas Driver. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Victor Lachlan scores it 99 to 90. Judge Massimo Badrovecchio scores it 99 to 89, and Judge Alexander Walter scores it 96 to 92. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And now the WBC International Super Lightweight Champion, Pierce Big Bang O'Leary. Congratulations to Dublin's Pierce O'Leary. He's got a real traveling support with him at the O2 Arena tonight. The new WBC International Super Lightweight Champion by wide margins on the three judges' scorecards. But that doesn't tell the full story about the tremendous...